teacher talking sports what it does what it do how we live in sometimes in sports we hear about a voter maybe of an award or a hall of fame how they should get their opportunity to vote revoked um that occurred not too long ago when Derek Jeter was just one vote shy of being a unanimous uh, member of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Only one person did not vote for him, and people were outraged. How could you not vote for Derek Jeter? Uh, we saw it in the NBA recently, where Nikola Jokic last season finished as a runner-up for MVP. Now, I believe he would have anyway, but Mark Jackson did not even put him on his ballot. Basically said it was an oversight. Mm, I don't know how much I believe that. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it happens in sports with awards, MVP, Rookie of the Year, Defense Player of the Year, whatever, where a guy might win except one voter decides not to vote for him at all or puts him very low on his ballot. Now, when it comes to the NBA GOAT debate, usually you hear two names one is Michael Jordan. The other is LeBron James. Those are the two names you usually hear when people proclaim who their GOAT is in NBA history. You know, maybe you have a few votes for Will, a few of us votes for Russell, a few votes for Kareem, a few votes for Kobe. Uh, but again, mostly LeBron and Michael Jordan. Well, The Athletic today posted their... Anonymous NBA player poll where players got the opportunity to give their responses to many different things, including who is the best basketball player of all time. Uh, Jordan did take the lead again, although his league lead is shrinking off of LeBron James in this poll. So Jordan got 45.9% of the vote. LeBron got 42.1% of the vote. 133 people voted. Uh, Kobe Bryant received 9.8% of the vote. Steph Curry, Magic Johnson, 0.8%. So one vote apiece. There was one other player who received one vote. Paul Pierce, the truth. Uh, someone voted for him as the best player of all time. Because this poll is anonymous, we don't know who made that vote now. When I do this, I don't mean to disparage Pierce. Uh, of course, he's a legendary player, a legendary Celtic, a well-deserved first ballot Hall of Famer, but... I don't think anyone in the world has ever mentioned him as the best player of all time until this poll. And unfortunately, we don't know who this player is that voted for Paul Pierce as the best player of all time. Now, Pierce has said some outlandish things, uh, you know, since retiring from the league. But not even he has stated that he believes he is the best player of all time. You know, he got in that debate uh, saying that he's better than Dwayne Wade. But that's not the same as saying you're the best player of all time. So, you know, maybe the athletic needs to look into revoking this guy's, this player's, uh, not allowing him to take part in this anonymous NBA player poll anymore i mean there were a lot of interesting things in this poll especially how much the players don't seem to like rudy gobert uh likely become a four-time defensive player of the year and he only finished sixth in voting for who's the best defender victor Wembanyama already won that and gobert also won the poll for most overrated player in the league uh so again his peers don't look too fondly on him but I just want to share the Paul Pierce thing. Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, who would you guess was the player? Is it a Boston Celtic that decided to do it? Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Chris Stapps, Porzingis, Al Horford. I'm looking at one of yous. No, I really have no idea. Who would decide 
that they believe Paul Pierce is the best player of all time. But anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.